ఎవరింగ్ ఇస్ దోర్ so one of the forms of the lord is silence that silence how to know it yatum and praveshtum by entering into it we can know me fully he says by entering into it being silence being that silence always you become one with me that's what the lord says and nila kantan ji can you repeat where is it from uh, gita ఎవరికే what more you can expect thank you so all the efforts are to know this silence and efforts are happening at two places one is the mind which is moving around has to come to the source we are putting efforts to bring that mind back to the source and another effort is happening from inside which we call as grace that silence is also interested in you remember this silence wants to reveal itself through each human body so if we make the necessary conditions for that silence to manifest it will manifest and what is that necessary condition that necessary condition is our interest in it our inquisitiveness to an extent that we stay focused on it till it reveals itself to us so that effort is needed from us and when we are ready to put that much of effort till it reveals to us and we are ready in a sense we are 100% ready 100% devoted to it not looking on our schedule that yeah, today i am busy tomorrow yes i have got 5 minutes yeah maybe or may may not be you know the way we talk in materialistic life all the time even if something you want to do and you your mind knows it is the best but you are so stuck up in so many things that it always takes a secondary seat it takes not a primary but a secondary that if i will have time i will do it if this is the attitude when i will have time i will do it it will never happen the moment you give that brahman second grade treatment you will always be a second grade person always you can you can live millions of life it will never happen 
This is what is told in Arunachala Akshara Mala, the last verse. Malay Alitta Arunachala Ramananan Malay Aninde. So, like the silence, or uh, Shiva is ready to put his garland. Then he has drawn a gar garland bit. Otherwise, it's not a two way street, it's a one way street relationship. So, he's ready for the relationship. I am not ready. <laughs> so, he's very nicely put. I am giving you, you give me the garment, I am ready to give you the garment. If I am not ready to give the garment, how can we garment you? That's the traditional marriage ceremony. So that's why it's told like that. Remember, all what is obstacle is our own interest in other things. You know what we call as vasana in Sanskrit or in Hindi? That vasana in English, they call it desire. It is not just desire. Desire looks like a you want this, you want this. It is much more ingrained. Vasanas is maybe from many births. And, and not all Vasanas, I should say, is a problem in enlightenment. Let's say you, you love to eat cake, you know. That is also a Vasana, that is a desire. But that's not going to stop you from knowing God. So understand what is at stake. At stake is your attachment in all these desires. Let's say you love cake, but if you don't cake, get cake, if you start doing tantrums, then it is a problem. Then it is a vasana. But you like cake and you get cake, you feel good. But if you don't get it, you are okay. That is not a obstacle. Obstacle is our interest in things and beings all the time. So losing attention from the self. First thing, first problem is for a seeker, he has not tasted it. If you taste it even for one second, fraction of a second, you will never leave it. Until then you have to keep putting more intense efforts with patience, with perseverance. And efforts are what? Your attention to that silence within, that witness, impartial witness, not the ego. From where you can watch ego, from where you can watch all thoughts, from where you can watch all emotions coming and going, from where you can watch all the bodily actions. You can watch from ego also all these things. You can watch thoughts from ego, you can watch bodily actions, you can watch. But the biggest difference one has to have this discernment that this ego is still part of this mind, intellect, emotions. Because if you are watching from ego, you will suffer. If someone has criticized you, said bad, you will feel bad. That is the test. And something which you are thinking of, it will. if it happens, it will be good, you will be elated. So these emotions and feelings, if you get on things happening for or against. That means you are into this ego. You are not in that impartial zone of pure awareness, silence. So this whole struggle, whole exercise is keep looking from where you are neutral, where you are not judging. You know, in Patanjali Yoga Sutras, they, they use the word strong likes and dislikes because sometimes people think every like and dislike will be a problem then. Psychological, yes, judgmental, critical about things. Yes, sometimes you have to correct things, but there is still that neutrality in you. Even you are, when you are correcting a person, you're not correcting because you dislike that person, because you think what that person has done was not right. And this is your responsibility to correct it, not going out on the road and preaching and correcting people. Sometimes it might be your employees or your family or, you know, friend, which is not an obstacle. Obstacle is your feeling emotional about things unnecessarily. Things are happening on their own way. So to stay in that impartial awareness as a witness is that silence. Because when you choose that, then thoughts are useless. Thoughts are useless for a person who has already accepted everything. You know, analyze your thoughts. They come to you as a gossip person. 
this has happened, this person has done this, this should have happened. What is this talk? This talk is for the ego. If you are egoless, there is no ground for thoughts to stay for any reason. What ego's qualities are? Greed, jealousy, comparison, thinking you are better or you are inferior in both ways, it creates a difference between you and others. For ego, this word looks so real and so intense and uh, it, is, <laughs> it is playing a role in which it gets so involved. You know, uh, someone asked uh, on YouTube and I responded today saying everything is beautiful, but with staying in this awareness, can I take care of my ailing parent, parent who is sick? I said, yes, love. Compassion, respect is are the are the attributes, are the qualities of this pure awareness. Give them love, give them respect, compassion, but no attachment. If you are attached, then there could be a very big problem for you. Then you are doing that seva, you can have so many things. Maybe Nila Kantanji can explain this because he was with his dad. And he was helping in whatever sense he could. And then finally, his dad passed away. So the person who is into that can explain you better, I believe. And definitely that's the case. Suppose if you get attached, you are not giving attention. You are mental, mentally, you are saying, oh, what will happen to him? No, no, we are here to address the problems and we can give as much comfort as possible. We cannot take away the pain from that person. So we are trying to give comfort and not getting attached and saying that, oh, he is suffering because of it, I am going to suffer. That kind of attachment, if you have, then you will not call the doctor or something to be done, you immediately do it. Otherwise, you are not attending. You are thinking about yourself. Oh, what will happen to me if he pass away? passes away? No, it's not about me. It is about him. I am going to take care of him. So that kind of attitude comes immediately. You are not attached, yet we have to do it as our complete duty. It's my duty I am performing. There is no question of getting attached. Because if I become emotional, who will take care? So this can be seen clearly. One who is attached doing things and crying, and who is not attached but pet doing things. You can clearly see that. I don't want to make name the persons. I can see persons around me. Some person get totally uh, two sisters, and one person got completely emotional, and she could not do anything for a few hours. So what can you do? It's very clear because we have to do things in uh, in a non-attached way. Yet you show the respect and uh, reverence to whatever whomsoever. It's a life. It's that principle, and even the body wants away. The life principle is going to be there. That existence principle is there. It's the body is unable to reflect that. That's all. Once that knowledge is there, that existence principle, we are serving that existence principle only and not the body. Because once the body is dead, it's gone. So this kind of clarity gives a lot of help when you are attending to old persons. Same, same thing I have seen people working in health system, you know. Um, and sometimes they come and they say, look, uh, I, I can't bear the suffering of people and I can't continue this job. I had a palliative nurse and she was crying and she was depressed and, and was suffering from nightmares because she was seeing people suffering and then she could not bear it. Now, who can't bear the suffering is your ego, you know, your attachment, your emotions and your fear. And the biggest fear is that these things are happening, you feel pity and then you think about this body. <laughs> if it happens to this body, how bad it will be. This is a fear, you know. Not, not, not just, it's not compassion. People take it, attachment as compassion sometimes that I, I am crying because other one is suffering. It is your own fears comes out uh, and it projects when you see other people having a problem. You can help them better when you are not attached to things. And 
Look in all our day-to-day -day practice, we get ample of time to shun this ego, to abide in awareness, to abide in this pure self. And slowly and gradually, this thing will become so crystal clear to you that all these big terms like enlightenment, moksha, nirvana, people tell the dates, I got enlightened on this date, this time, and like a blast, like an atom bomb has exploded. No. Look, if it is happening to someone like this, it is because they have already done their sadhana, their practice. Please don't compare yourself with Bhagwan that one day like this it will happen. It is happening. Each satsang it is happening. Every time you pay attention to awareness, it is happening. You, It is changing. You are moving. You are me moving millions of miles away from this ego at a very jet speed. Believe me. The one who is interested, he's he's moving away. There's no doubt about it. But you have to stay focused till it is all finished, till you are firmly established in this pure self. So this coming and going which appears to us is because there's so much of stuff we have carried for so many. Even if you don't believe in previous births, even in this birth we have carried so much. And whatever our age we have collected until this age, now we are offloading. We are getting empty. How much time it takes is how much you have gathered and how, what intensity you are doing it, how much intense you are into it. And that's the way it, it works. But it works for everyone. And here we are not using any other trick. We are not using a mediator. We are not using this body. In Gyan Marga, the thing is that you are hitting the nail direct. You are There is no mediator, no middleman. Not the yoga of breath and uh, prana first and then going there or posture first and then going there. No. Hit on the nail direct. Because then there are other things can happen uh, when people do. I'm not against yoga, but here the mark is so direct and simple. Why you want to go indirectly? Same is with anything. But yes, if you're not uh, ready for it, then yeah, you can do yoga, you can do some japa, you can do other things. But this is so pure, so simple. Self is always there. You are always in the mind. You have to just start paying attention to the self. More you pay attention, less you will be in the mind. More you are into the self, mind will start fading away. Fading away, you can say it as it is surrendered, whatever, or no mind or pure mind. Terms does not convey the right meaning. Don't worry about the concepts and terms and all. It is just your own attention to your own self. Stay there. Allow the silence to manifest in everything. The way you talk, the way you move. And when you give importance to silence, there will be less thoughts. Even if there will be thoughts, there will be not disturbing thoughts. Even if a disturbing thought comes, it will not stay too long. Even if it stays long, you will recognize it as separate from you. Stay focused on self. Abide in self. And see the beauty of this self. This self, don't underestimate the energy of this self because if you are interested in it, it is already interested. As Nila Kantanji say, it is ready with the garland. You have to pick up your garland and be ready. You have to marry this. And this marriage is very unique. In this marriage, only one is left. As Bhagwan says, as Bhagwan says. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful, you know. And look, if your mind says it does not happen to you, it happens to others, mind can give you all excuses. Mind can say it happens to one in million. So see, you are not one in a million, you are one in hundred million. How many people are trying? 
how many people are here so this is the thing don't think you are that chosen the grace is on you why you want to compare notes just stay focused focus on your sadhana focus on your practice go to this purest of pure within us leave away all your story of what this body has done and the mind has thought or actions done in the past no ownership to it this ownership is creating all obstacle stay there always stay there always pay attention to awareness more you pay attention more it unfolds in you and it this process i'll tell you honestly this process of even abiding in awareness awareness this gets deeper and deeper though it becomes natural it becomes sahaj it becomes effortless but in this effortless awareness also you get waves of silence sometimes the silence gets so deep sometimes this silence give rise to different experiences different things happens in the silence manifest unmanifest because it it does things in its own way it will show its own leela even though it is silence it has its own unique abilities in so many ways even if you don't want them they will come they will dance in front of you all those things different things there is no point to discuss those things when it happens to you you will know it so it is its own something happens maybe it is unique for each individual the way things happens but whatever happens it is pure it is bliss it is shiva it is that brahman it is unique you have entered into a different world you have entered into something which for a mind is unrealistic for mind it is magical for mind it is hard to believe because this world is governed by the mind is this whole world what you see what inventions discoveries everything is happening through the mind this is beyond mind and this is infinite mind is a small gadget produced from the self don't think that silence is only silence and nothing there we call that yes it is silence it is nothing it is emptiness but that emptiness has potential to create everything this is that potential energy which creates this dynamism this kinetic phenomena happening in the world you are that potential and from that potential anything can manifest anything can happen you are touching the source it is the fire you are that fire when you will know it you will realize how small you were as a person restricted to the body mind complex and fighting with people around you for small things of zero value for a position for some money for some fame for some love we were beggars from that absolute king we turned into a beggar you will laugh away your all life what you have lived life of a beggar just because of one wrong concept that i am this body i am this mind i am that i am 
I am none other than that. Not even slightest difference. You can't keep that at this level and yourself below it. No. You are that. Putting God on that pedestal in a temple or a church and staying in home and thinking, oh, that is that and I am that. We degrade God also. We degrade ourselves. And we make sure that we never reach there. When we Next example given is uh, wave, ocean and water. We are all the ways we think. And if there is a bigger way, we think it is. Is uh, Bill Gates. It's a smaller way, it's me. And the total sea is the Lord. No, all all the waves are water, and ocean is also water. From the if you look at it from the standpoint of water, everything is water. So that's the crux of the matter is looking at from everything from the point of view of silence or consciousness. But here the problem is that if you even accept what Nilakantan just said, if, but if it's not your experiential understanding, if you, it's not your own knowing, then it is useless. Because then you will not be having bliss, you are still angry, you are fearful of things, you have attachments, you are running for things. Mere intellectual understanding is of no value. And that's why you have to do practice, you have to do sadhana. Even simple things in life, we do. We have to work so hard. Then why you think just by your one desire and busy in everything else, the God will give you in plate? So put your all efforts, 100% devotion. We don't know when we are going to leave this body, tonight or day after tomorrow. Don't think even if you live 100 years is too long gap. No. See how the life has quickly come to this level where we are right now. And the beauty is once you know the self, you become devotee of the self. It is such a paradox. Before that, you were practicing to know that. After that, 24 hours you are devoted to it. 24 hours. Nothing you can go for. I'll give you a very small example which I think might be closer to what I'm trying to speak, if you understand. I don't know. I'll try to make you understand. Indian God Krishna. Krishna, when he was there, there were these females who were married, who had kids, who had family, who had extended family. They call them gopis. When the Krishna used to come, used to play flute, they all used to leave whatever they were doing, feeding their baby, cooking dinner, taking care of their husband, whatever. They used to leave and go. Now, for a person, it looks very odd that your responsibilities, your duties, you're not fulfilling and going there. This is that, this body becomes that gopi when you know the Krishna within. It has lost taste in everything, everything. And I think that is what it, it symbolizes that this body becomes so devoted because that fragrance of that self within, it cannot do anything else. Though it is doing but interest here, it is effortless, it is natural. And it is so intense. I'll tell you a jnani looks in bondage, if he's working, if he's doing something, because there are things around him. But give that person a chance in a way 
that if the things drops he will be dis- he will disappear it is it is the prarabdh karma which are bounding that body into some doing or some work or a family or whatever is happening but he is completely out of this bondage so let's say anything drops he is already out he is all he is waiting for this body to drop but the things are happening the way they have to see the beauty of this awareness see how fearless a person becomes and how loving loving for that self changes everything in that body when this flute is played from within you lose every other awareness because everything appears very trivial or of no taste so it is a higher taste when you get this higher taste all these lower taste and things you know has no meaning some say is vairagya dispassion what dispassion there is no passion in any of these things they are all slavery of sense organs all our enjoyments are only slavery of sense organs of the body when you realize that you are not the body and when you realize you are not these senses then then who will run after all the enjoyments who was running before and what those enjoyments were giving pleasure you are in finite pleasure can any sense organ pleasure can match you you are that eternal bliss like a joy of a mad person you know you must have seen in movies that a mad person is having a laugh i think they were all gyanis in those days so much of joy within you but because you don't look within you are looking outside for joy so you are miserable you have money of kuber you know kuber is considered to be the all the money of the world in finite wealth and we are collecting these uh, dollar one dollar coins you know useless just pay attention to this your attention your interest will open this door door of your cave of your heart will open up for you it will blossom like a hen sits on the egg and then then egg breaks up and the chicken comes out you have to keep sitting here give your warmth of your attention here to allow it to hatch but not sitting here and then moving away i don't know how hen sits on the egg i have no clue but i'm just thinking it must be sitting for a while so it hatches so looks like hen is more intelligent than a human being we come here and then we move and then we move and then we move why don't we finish this first and then look for the second thing after that give this the most most important thing pay attention there and see the beauty when you start getting this furna this palpation this feeling in your heart in the middle it will start moving like it is birth is happening all the changes happening you will feel that spandan that vibration just be there 
all the gossip around you is happening or not happening or people talking or not talking you stay here even if you answer them incorrectly doesn't matter you have to say yes you are saying no you don't remember let it be any everything be most selfish person in this world just stay here you can do work outside you can't do work outside people say he's stupid people say he's fool he's dumb you lose your job have that much of interest in it that nothing affects you except being here and i guarantee you if you pay attention here all your works will be done in some mysterious way by that power don't be a doer stay in that non doership and see how beautifully everything is being taken care by someone else you know sudama went to krishna and couldn't ask anything and he stayed with him and when he came back he could not recognize where he is he thought it's it he has come back to krishna city it was exactly the same city big palatial house krishna gave everything to him and what he did he just went to meet with his love with his as to a friend so you stay here and and it will do everything for you it is doing everything for everyone but we are so thankless people we don't thank we give all credit to our, this ego that i have done it i was born in a poor family now look what i am or i studied or i did and i have given to people and i do charity and then no one treats me good what are we doing it is all done by that absolute taking care of everything just pay attention to the self all the time and see how beautiful it functions everything is happening you know everything why it is happening because you are not interested in anything then he has to take interest to let everything happen the way he wants it to happen because of your prarabdha because whatever has to happen will happen so he takes care when you are not taking care and what are you doing you are paying all your attention to him when you have left everything to him and you are giving all your attention to him then he takes care of you he takes care of you better than your ego thousand times better than your ego when your ego does <laughs> it takes pride in things it becomes that i have done it and it gives lot of suffering but when he does he keeps you in bliss in peace in your own unending joy all the time so you don't have to do anything just be a devotee of yourself that's all day and night okay let's say your mind is still does not understand what i'm saying and you think you will lose some money lose some money people spend money to get this joy little bit of joy you know people go to horse races they do so many things they spend money to get a joy why can't you lose some money to get this joy just pay attention to the self most important and you can fool whole world 
that you are a devotee, you are a spiritual person, you are a seeker, you are a bhakta, you are a jnani. But you cannot fool your own self. He knows you more than you know him. He knows everything about you. And so, if you are not getting that fragrance and the blossoming is not happening, understand that you have to do more efforts. You have to give up more ego. You have to lose your identity more. You have to stay there longer. And I'll tell you, there is nothing to check whether your practice is right or wrong because there is no practice in it. The only practice is interest in it and understanding what it is. Method, you can pick up any method. Method is not important. Your intense desire, longing is the only thing which is needed. You know, the thing which we are interested, we are interested, we do it and we try to go for it wherever it is, whatever it is, how much we have to pay or whatever. It is all our interest, isn't it, in life for everything. I know the avid golfers, it's raining, they will go, my friends, they, it's storm, they will go. When they can't go, they cry like a baby. In COVID times, they were so depressed that they can't play golf as they are, as they are kids. They are all 50 plus. What is it? Their interest, their desire. If you start crying the day you have not taken the Lord's name and if you, if you feel depressed the day you are not there, because I can understand you can't play golf in a stormy, rainy weather. Maybe you can still play. But because of COVID restrictions, you couldn't play. But taking God's name or paying attention, what is obstructing you? Nothing is obstructing us. Only our own mind, our interest in other things. We want to do a little bit more in this world. Some people say that we want to leave a legacy after our death, as if they will be watching from the top. You know Nisarg Datta Maharaj, one of the saints in India, in Bombay, Someone suggested him that, uh, Maharaj, when you will die, we, we will make a, a statue of you, you know. He said, why? He said, in reverence and respect. He said, so a dog can come and urinate on it. That was his answer. What, <laughs> what do you want? I'm not saying in Hindi because it looks very rude in Hindi, but um, so, yeah. People talk about so many things, a stupid mind takes you away from this purest of pure and wants you to do something different. There is no need. Even if it has to happen, it will happen. But let's try to be there only. I'll tell you this self-love is so much it is such a bad addiction that it will not leave you once it once you know it even if you want to run away from it it can't because you are that and the paradox is you are that still you it looks like you are loving it Don't think about anything. Don't run around looking for gurus, looking for 
new methods just pay attention to your pure self you have all everything is inbuilt in the system we have been born as this individual thinking i am this body mind which is all conditioning the moment you realize that it is causing suffering an intelligent person should know this very very quickly so i am happy in this group some people are very young also i think andy is the youngest person i am so happy to see him you know if at this age someone is is he is the most intelligent person i should say you know at young age if you if you know so your journey starts too early back so there's less garbage less stuff to sort out and more strength more energy to be there to be free free forever a gyani is always free because he is not attached to anything he is not attached to any pleasures or anything he is actually gyani is more <laughs> more like a sadhak i should say a speaker spiritual seeker you know what drama he does oh morning i'll wake up i'll do two hours what this crap and then after that no no then i have to do this and then i'll do and no 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 i'll start in the evening also you know one hour evening i will sit and what a gyani is doing 24 hours he is only into that that is tapas 24 hours into it and what a seeker is doing Two hours here, one hour there, then five days gap, and then again one day he says, "No, no, no, I'll start again." And the result is proportionate. Yeah. So be the gyani you will be when you are effortless. understand where the gyani comes from be that gyani in your efforts gyani is naturally there you put that much of efforts to be there all the time when you give 100% efforts to be there what will happen is that one day because it is your true nature one day all the efforts will drop because it is your true self this is reality illusion is so gripping to you that you have to put efforts to come out of it and when you are here deeply here with all your efforts efforts will drop efforts are only to get out of the illusion efforts are not to stay here understand this do it appears that to stay here you have to put efforts no no this efforts are not to get attracted to all what you thought you were before so it's a constant struggle to stay in partial awareness because all the atmosphere around us is pulling back us into that person mode because that's the way whole world is talking around us at work at home friends everyone is talking this that language of ego because it is it is being served by maya illusion everything all beings so if you have to pull out you need lot of efforts energy to come out of it so grace is on you you just put your efforts allow this union to happen and be free forever if you believe in a name like god it is good if you don't believe in a name like god it is good 
but believe in yourself that is most important at least you know that you exist try to sort out in this body only once you know here you will know everywhere don't think it is bhagwan ramana maharishi has started this method this method is eternal he is the only one in kali yuga i should say who has um, told us even in silence he has told he never spoke people asked nobody could record his voice also so he just came to tell us again that this is <laughs> this is a method eternal method arunachala choose him to tell us so we all can be free i am telling you the truth there is no other reason he came for us only this drama was done for stupid people like us not for anyone else we the chosen few take advantage of it and just do it so easy so simple yoga i don't know you have to find a yoga, good yoga teacher not a fake yoga i don't know who is that because people can have lot of problems in yoga you know doing pranayam something can happen i don't know there must be good but it is so direct no side effect guaranteed no side effect so simple so easy and the teacher who lived his life there are no chances that he was fake this is the again <laughs> guarantee because mind always puts doubt on the teacher first then yourself how stupid we are you know we doubt the teacher here the teacher has already lived a life and gone through the body and people have written everyone was writing you can compare those notes you know you can ask someone alive only 10 years back or 15 years back but still you can see videos the books they have written so you can be sure that he was a genuine teacher or a spiritual master or a gyani so that doubt is not there what he lived he lived in that room with everyone there was no double life or triple life no he it was just transparent life so at least now the teacher is fine now the teachings are good because on going through those teachings not one not hundred thousands of people got into that self but they are not writing a book that these are the people few we know we all know but so many so many has never gone back so many has not even been to ramanash even in his times and they abided in self and still right now thousands and thousands so this is so a few persons here sorry i know a few but i know a few persons in trivandrum yeah when i was 28 or 30 one person called me and my mother said that he is a nice person you can go and he is a great devotee of ramana only when i went there i understood that he is established but by seeing him i know because he told that he told me one example only he said that uh, when you want to shave you are shaving on the mirror or on your face that's the only example he took some old uh, mountain path and this is what the example given by ramana so i am following that that one so be don't try to fix others don't try to fix others fix yourself first so that's what he I've seen some many persons, some four or five, even in my hometown. So, so simple persons, and they had no, no other. Uh, they like even somewhere engineers or chief engineer of PW department here. They were not ordinary people like God. They didn't have education. That's why he was. They went that way. No, very educated people. they were also like that so you know that so many persons have attained why not we
And I, look, I have spoken to so many people. I know everyone is on that boiling point only. So keep boiling. <laughs> Stay there. Thank you very much because there is no end to it. You know, this joy, this self is so beautiful. The talking about it, we can keep talking all the time. When we talk, it is actually letting us to talk. He chooses the words. He, he has arranged all this satsang for us, for all of us. Thank you. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.